Go. What are you doing today? I'm swimming. What are you going to swim with? My sandbag. I'm doing the same thing at found that. I'm going swimming to... I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. I'm the fourth of six children. Primarily raised by my mother, who's like literally probably the, the best friend a person could have in the entire world. But anyway, she, she raised us for the most part alone, six of us. When she married my father, she had promised, so my mother wasn't Catholic, my father was, and she had promised the church that she would raise us Catholic. So even when my parents got divorced, I was eight when they got divorced, because yeah, I was seven when they separated and I was eight when they got divorced. So she stuck to her promise, she raised us Catholic. She really didn't get help from anybody, especially my father, so she raised us in two different housing projects, La Claire Courts, which is on the west side, and then we wound up in Trumbull Park. Probably for a lot of reasons that was like a blessing to my mom and to us because we had the local park which had a beautiful pool. We had all the um, the perks of the park, you know, all the programs after school. I, we probably thrived in that area actually. All six of us were pretty decent athletes. We went to Bright School, then on to Bowen High School. Where my whole life pretty, pretty much has been spent with kids. At, at the age of 12, I was a day camp counselor. Whoa, Jeremy! At 15, I started teaching swimming with my aunt at the local Y. It was like a high school job. I was a swimming instructor at a Girl Scout camp in Indiana. Um, it just pretty much was where my career was already going at a young age. What was that? And I taught for three years right out of college. I was pretty young, I was 20 when I got out of college, and then I taught at a Catholic um, grammar school and high school, which was connected in Hyde Park, uh, St. Thomas the Apostle. September after my third year of teaching, I was thinking about getting to, into something a little bit different. Yeah, anyway, I was going to go into like city recreational job and um, that's when I um, was the unfortunate um, victim of a just evil person, I guess you would say. At the time that I was at the wrong place, I guess at the wrong time, yeah, I was out jogging one night with um, one of my neighbors. I was like 24. and. And unfortunately, right towards the end of the run, some crazy man jumped out of like the shrubbery with this uh, tree limb and said some crazy nonsense like, do you have a match or something like that? We just kept running past him, but unknown to me, he ran from behind me and swung the tree limb like a baseball bat, which immediately like broke 
most of the bones on the side of my face. And um, Tina ran for help, but I was one of the real lucky people that people actually stopped because it was right next, where this happened was literally feet away from the expressway, the Calumet Expressway. So rush hour traffic, September, like 70 degrees out, ton of people out. This man was just crazy. Um, so before he could really do more damage to me, three people from the expressway jumped the little fence and started chasing him. And like within those like minute or so, I, as I said, I had the most, most of the bones on the side of my face broken. I met Sean originally right after um, the time she was attacked. And uh, I had a friendship with her for up until the present day. And uh, found her to be a very kind, generous, and loyal person. With children, she always is the same. Uh, she won't uh, change her personality. Uh, some people might have a good day or a bad day, and that's something that she never shows children. Um, she's consistent and patient, and uh, she'll help them to think things through to make the right decision. And she's uh, always fair. What's right today will be right tomorrow. And uh, if it's wrong today, it will be wrong tomorrow. So she's very consistent. And I think that helps children a lot. OK, Maya, I want you to tell me the story about what you did today. Um, 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 swim on a wall. Um, go on a wall. And throw. Um, um, for my tummy, um, do something I like to do, I, and I played, and I played so much, and I, and I swim, and I jump, and, and I kick. And I do climbing, and I do, that's it. That's it, Daddy. 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 It's not just swimming. I mean, anyone who knows me will tell you it's not just the swimming part. It's, I work very hard with the children on manners, um, treating people decently, um, just, just being kind to each other, you know, using nice words when we talk to one another, eye contact, all those kinds of things which are so important and if all adults don't do the same thing then we're giving the kids mixed signals about when they should behave the right way. One other thing about Sean teaching swimming lessons, uh, and I've even heard other parents say this, that she not only teaches lessons in swimming but lessons in life and teaches values and uh, it, you get so much more than just a, a swimming lesson from, from Sean. Okay, ready? Make sure no one's crying. Here we go. Too fast, Maya, or just right? No, not fast. No, fast. Not fast? Slow? riding on the train that I usually ride every night, the 7.15, 35-minute train ride to my house. Um, it's it's a much more relaxed crowd at night than in the morning. That, the morning crew, they're vicious. I mean, they don't give you a break on seats, nothing. But the nighttime people usually are more, more relaxed, different kind of crowd. One of the nice things about the train is you run across people that you normally wouldn't, you know, cross their paths with. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a ritual, and it's nice. This is my quiet time. I can read. I can 
you know, talk, you know, to people that I've met, um, adult conversation as opposed to kid conversation. So yeah, it, it's, a, it's a ritual, but a nice part of my day, so. Just a couple more minutes, we'll be heading around the bend. And then, the day is almost over. And I think, going back to, to my um, attack, that, you know, sometimes we see reasons why things happen, and I don't think that's why I was hurt, but I think one thing that came out of my being hurt and just having time to think about my life and everything was that um, I, I do have a talent. I've worked with children all my life. Um, I think it's something I always knew I was going to do. And I, I think that was one, one way that now I'm able to touch people's lives who I normally wouldn't meet. For different reasons, we cross people's paths at different times of our lives. And um, I'm just very blessed in what I get back from people, what I receive. And um, someone once told me, and I, I just think it was a nice thing that they said, someone told me I had a firm heart, meaning I give the kids a lot of love, but I'm also firm with them in, in as far as discipline and just having them do the right thing. Um, I like what I do. I, I enjoy what I do very much, and um, it's physically tiring, but stresses, mental, emotional stress, I don't have that anymore. Um, you know, life is good.